Hey guys, this is Samjivit with another tutorial about selling a fixed asset and recording gain or loss in QuickBooks Desktop. Well, sometimes due to some unexpected reasons you find yourself in a position to sell an asset you may have purchased recently to run your business. In that scenario, you may sell it with no gain or loss or you may sell it which bring you some gain or loss. Anyhow, we will see all the three scenarios in this tutorial. Let's see the first one, which is uh, when an asset is sold at book value. Now, go to your chart of accounts to see the book value of the asset you want to sell. And let's say this is the asset I'm going to sell on its book value, which is uh, 3319. And when you go to the balance sheet, this is how it appears in the balance sheet. Anyhow, to record the sale of the asset, select Make General Journal Entries option under the Company menu. Here, change the date you sell your asset on. Now, select your concerned bank account because you will receive some money in return. And to eliminate the effect of the accumulated depreciation from your books concerning the asset you are going to sell, select its accumulated depreciation account and eliminate its effect by adding the concerned amount in the debit column. And what remain is the cost of the asset we bought it on. And since we are selling an asset, it won't be a business property anymore. So select the cost account of the asset you are going to sell and write its full cost on the credit side to counter its value. Now write some memo if you want. Or just click on save and close to record the entry. And here you can see that the value of the asset has gone down to zero. And when you go to the balance sheet, it doesn't show HPZ book anymore. Let's see the second scenario, which is when an asset is sold at gain. Now, to sell the same asset at gain, I'm going to delete the general journal entry to reverse the effect. And here you can see that it's been reversed. Now, go back to create general journal entry again. Here, select your concerned bank account and let's suppose that the HPZ book has been sold at 4000 this time. And then eliminate the effect of the accumulated depreciation by debiting its value. And since we are selling an asset, we won't own it anymore, so credit its cost amount. Now, what's left is the difference that we gain on selling this asset. And remember, it's not the income that you earned by doing your regular business. So you can't add it to your direct income account. And if your expertise is not in accountancy, just select Ask My Accountant account and equalize the amount in the general journal entry and then record it. And your accountant or CPA will take care of it. Or click on Add New and create a new account by selecting the account type Other Income. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just naming it Gain Fixed Asset Sold. And then click on Save and Close to create the account. And then write some memo if you want. Or just click on Save and Close to record the entry. And here you can see that the book value of the asset has gone down to zero again. And here is the other income type account we have just created. And when you go to the balance sheet, it doesn't show the HPZ book anymore. And when you open the profit and loss statement, you will be able to see the gain you earned by selling the fixed asset separately, since the gain was not earned by doing the regular business. Now, let's say the third scenario, which is when an asset is sold at loss. Now, to sell the same asset at loss, I'm going to delete the general journal entry again to reverse the effect. And here you can see that it's been reversed. Now, go back to Career General Journal Entry again. Here, select your concerned bank account and let's suppose that the HPZ book has been sold at 3000 this time. And then eliminate the effect of the accumulated depreciation by debiting its value. And since we are selling an asset, we won't own it anymore. So credit its cost amount. Now, what's left is the difference that we lose on selling this asset. Now, to record the loss, we can use the Ask My Accountant account and or gain fixed assets sold account and then we can leave it for the accountant or CPA to take care of it. 
but instead of selecting either of these two I'm going to create a new account by selecting the account type other expense well you can name it whatever you want I'm just naming it lost fixed assets sold and then click on save and close to create the account and then write some memo if you want or just click on save and close to record the entry and here you can see that the value of the asset has gone down to zero again and here is the other expense type account we have just created and when you open the profit and loss statement you will be able to see the loss separately you born by selling the fixed asset since the loss was not born by doing the regular business anyhow when you have sold your asset you can go to the fixed assets items list and change the status of the sold asset by clicking on this checkbox and filling the concerned fields moreover you can select this checkbox to inactive this asset from the items list too to keep the list clean and whenever you buy this asset again instead of creating new item in the items list just click on include inactive checkbox and then click on the cross sign to reappear it in the items list again anyhow whatever the case may be if you are not comfortable with recording general journal entries then ask your accountant or CPA to take care of this and this is how you can record the sale of a fixed asset in QuickBooks desktop and I hope this will be helpful for someone out there and thanks for watching